some of the science crowd don't like that I do this, but this is why I'm on YouTube. Okay. So, you know, I've been, and this is why I put the PhD in physics on hold to create some things. And some of the, they are science related. I use my science background and education to create them. Like this thing is the world's first post quantum consumer VPN. And, uh, you know, if you want to come use it, there's a seven day free trial, come check it out. And then I also created this and this and this and this, and now I've only got these three, three, but I just wanted to show you guys. That's why I make these YouTube. I also do it for the communication. I started it purely for the communication. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Anyway, you can, you know, come AI your interior. Most of our information ecosystem has a problem at this point, but that's since I call this little corner of the internet my home, and that's science communication, I have a problem too. The problem is an epidemic of mis- and disleading content made to scam your attention, written and read by bots created by probably nefarious individuals for monetary gain alone. You've probably seen what I'm talking about. How many ostensibly educational YouTube channels like this? You guys, if you've been watching my streams, I've been going off on these channels for the exact same reason. It's just all bullshit. Just like absolute horseshit. I'm all for, so the thumbnail he put on this video, it might change because YouTubers do that. Um, it's a science spam. I'm okay with science spam, all right? Spam's fine. The title is science scam crisis on YouTube. Now that's, I think that's very different to spam. Scamming is not okay, particularly in science, okay? Uh, you know, this, this, these channels are snake oil. Like a lot of it is completely just wrong. Misinformation, disinformation, all right? That's snake oil. So I'm, I'm okay with science spam, right? You, I do spam. <laughs> you guys may, may have seen, I've watched like every Kurzgesagt like video, okay? I'm spamming the fuck out of science. But uh, it's just because I'm a nerd. All right, so to some people it's spam, to me, I'm just having a good time over here, all right? I'm sorry. Have you come across? There always seems to be at least one in my recommendations or Hello, watch world. next. I don't think I've ever actually clicked on one of these myself, but I assume that people do. The topics being broad, sciency, and well. People do. I've had my friends who are literal medical doctors try and send me this shit. I've had a literal doctor, a medical doctor, send me one of these videos and it was so clearly bullshit just simply because of the education I've had. And he didn't know that it was bullshit and he thought it was real. And so can you see how big a problem this is? Okay. A doctor, a medical doctor thought the video was telling him good inform information. That's terrifying, right? You should be terrified if it's tricked a doctor. I should also say I just put a PhD in physics on hold. Okay. That's who I am. Uh, you know, first class deg degree in physics and math. Um, honors degree, which is different. You guys don't have that in America. It's kind of like a master's. So I've done all the advanced physics, smashed it. The reason why I'm talking a lot at the moment is because I want to kind of share some of my opinions before we hear some of Kyle's. And this is a massive issue. I'm also kind of worried. That's the thought I was going to go with. If YouTube starts bringing the hammer down, Kyle's Thor hammer, because he looks like Thor, well then I, uh, I wonder what they'll think of me and my channel, right? Because like I said before, a lot of people, you know, just sort of assume I'm a bullshitter because I don't fit the kind of fucking stereotype of being a nerdy science person, I guess. Um, you know, most people I feel like don't even watch my videos before they comment and they're like, full of shit. I've never had a problem with anyone talking about the stuff I've said. And when I say that, anyone who actually clearly has any credentials or knows anything, none of the people I work with or worked with, my supervisors, they all thought it was great. They put me up for prizes in Australia, in the physics community, um, science communication prizes. So, you know, like <laughs> people in the actual physics world, none of them really had a problem with it, apart from it calling it cringy occasionally, which hurt my feelings. But, um, you know, there's nothing incorrect about the info. I'm always spouting on about uncertainty, uncertainty. Just please go like Google stuff that I say. I'm not here to teach you. It's just entertainment. I'm just trying to make science a little bit cooler. And that's all you should get from this. You know, I, I, you're not going to learn anything. Maybe a fun fact, but a lot of the facts we talk about in physics are very kind of misinformed in a way because it's like, how else do we talk about this unintuitive stuff, which is so abstract and mathematical a lot of the time these channels until one of my facility members pointed out that there's something a little weird going on with all of them 
a possibly coordinated effort to skim your precious attention using mostly auto-generated clickbait that is posing as high quality science content and being the science you, I, no, I know i said i was going to watch but i guess i got to say like I, this is not high quality science content all right this is entertainment this is just off the cuff impromptu that's just how i like to live life and you know so sorry if it's not high quality youtube to me is all about low quality and real and personal and that's where youtube started right and that's what i like about youtube i don't like overproduced netflix shows on net on youtube it's like that's what netflix or movies or tv shows are for so whilst i enjoy content like this i much prefer listening to someone talk um, without script and things because then it's not as real in my opinion so i just want to defend I mean, than i am i take that personally so this video looks a very bit deeper into youtube's science spam problem this one looks like so, you chucked it up pretty quickly though. I quickly though. Fairly quickly found impromptu. almost two dozen channels representing the problem as I see it. And the first thing you notice is their extreme uniformity. Almost every single one details the same broad, generally interesting science-related topics like the James Webb Space Telescope, aliens, ancient mysteries, mass extinctions, and so on. You know, the kind of stuff you'd see on a history channel, but you'd only watch if you fell asleep with the TV on. The next troubling thing that, that I notice is that these channels publish constantly, some almost every 12 hours. This is a rate that I know is literally impossible for even the best creators to pull off. No one is this fast. Not PBS Space Time, not Minute Physics, especially not Vsauce Get Wrecked, not Kurzgesagt, no one. This indicates to me that at least some part of these channels' content generation process is automated, cut and paste, or both. Then there are the thumbnails. <laughs> they are just so cookie cutter that you'd be forgiven. Good call, Brittany. <laughs> given and thinking many of but, them. But the problem is it's like, um, it's not really the science people watching these videos, which might surprise everyone, right? You might be surprised. We A lot of people who watch my videos are not people in physics. We do have a lot of them. I get a lot of messages by people in physics and they're like, you know, I, I support what you're doing. Thank you. Um, but a lot of, most of the audience are not people in science. They're just sort of interested in it. The problem there then arises that, uh, you know, if you're just interested in, you're keeping it a passion, which is great. You might not have the education or the bullshit detector to know like this stuff is bullshit. And that, that's the problem. That's the epitome of the problem he's talking about right now. Many of these are just the same video across multiple channels. And they might- We're gonna times two this. The same dramatic images, the same- Cause I'm running out of time. And circles pointing at nothing of consequence. This way at best be clickbait on a non-science oriented channel. But on these channels that are representing themselves as educational, these thumbnails are misleading at best and intellectually offensive at worst. Look at this. How many of these images are either AI generated, photoshopped to the point of ridiculousness, or of things that didn't happen or don't exist? I don't know. Most of them? This is not what happened to her. This is not Christina Ricci. That nose is photoshopped. That baby is made to look like a baby from Avatar. She's not sleeping with her cobra. That's a python. That's Titanobo. It did not exist at the same time as humans. No one ever caught that thing. That skeleton is too big. Gently doesn't look like that anymore. No one rides spiders. This woman is not <laughs> Snoke. That crap never existed. She didn't exist. This is <laughs> this is Photoshop. This is Photoshop. That never existed. This never happened to him. This woman doesn't exist. Those conversations. So you, you can now see as well where you remember what I was talking about before. We need some kind of irony and sarcasm in physics and science. And some of this could be seen as that, right? No? But so it's like, where do we draw the line? You know, Kyle is kind of going off the cliff and forgetting that, you know, we need to bring sarcasm and irony into it. And if there's a channel dedicated to that, I think that's okay. Uh, I'm not sure what this channel is or if it's dedicated to that, but it seems like it's kind of just scammy. And it's like, well, then what do we need? a? If you're going to do a YouTube channel, it has to be one or the other. Like, that's kind of annoying as well. You know, why does everyone else in politics, every other domain of, I don't know, human knowledge, they get to, you know, sarcasm, irony, all they want. And they go from that to seriousness. You know, that's just human nature. But in science, we're not allowed to do that, are we? And look at how people look at science, like from the pandemic and things. They just hate scientists. Maybe because they think they take themselves so seriously and they're so self-serious. And I, it does look like that. But if you ever meet a scientist, they're just like me, right? We don't take ourselves seriously. We constantly fuck around. <laughs> you should come to our group research meetings. It's just like a, usually a big joke. <laughs> this robot is too big. This, that, that one kind of happened. 
This dog is not vain. That is not what we discovered in Egypt. No one ever wore that mask to court. And worse yet, there is painfully little creativity here. These channels have identified a few topics, uh, these ones and images that do numbers and spam them like crazy. Here, let's play a game. The misinformation I'm gonna channels and see just how quickly I can find a thumbnail with either Michio Kaku, Elon Musk, or Joe Rogan. Essentially, the bong rips of science content. Okay, let's start with the first channel, and here we go. Oh, there's Elon Musk right in the cover. Uh, oh, Elon Musk right on the front page. Uh, yeah, I wasn't arguing with uh, you, Brittany. I was just sort of uh, taking Musk, that thought uh, in a Kaku, different direction uh, to Rogan, what you were saying. Kaku, Kaku, I agreed with you. Joe Rogan, multiple times on the front page. Ooh, oh, the Rogue. Do you forget? Nope, Rogan. Ooh, this channel it doesn't seem like they're spamming any sort of Kaku or Rogan. <laughs> Surely, if I go further, it's not like I'm gonna find something. You got a Musk. We're going to the Kaku. We got the Kaku. We got the Musk. We, this is all on the first page of all these things. These people don't do it because they're mostly making stuff up. So this is all getting a little weird, right? And there's no one to actually contact about that weirdness in the channel's about sections. At least I couldn't track down any of the real emails for real people. You go into my about section, you email me, I get that email. Trust me, I read them. And even more telling, in the description for almost every single video on every single one of these channels, I thought it's it was silly. Too, for watching. It's a very long description of why they shouldn't be copyright claimed or explaining what to do if you want to copyright claim it. It's not like these channels think that using blurry Netflix and Discovery Channel footage is okay. They know what they're doing and they're trying to get away with it. We haven't even watched a video yet, and it's all suspicious. Videos with tens of thousands or millions of views and millions of subscribers, and yet they have relatively few comments at all. They all have names that are some combination of buzzwords. Text space, future space, future unity, cosmos lab, territory space, voyager space, desert yeah, space, and so on. All of the logos are exactly the same. The same minimalist design, same white on black, the same video yeah. topics, the same thumbnails, the same logos and links I to each other. I noticed this too. Now, I prove that this is a small cabal of evil attention kidnappers, but I would not be... Put the tinfoil hats on, boys. What is going on? Surprised. In fact, I bet on it. Okay, so just on the surface level, this looks like a veritable tsunami of science spam on the corner of the internet I call home. But the actual content of the content is somehow even worse. Look, Most science day. people are like Stephen Hawking. And Stephen Hawking is such a f***ing joker. Uh, you know, like you saw him show up in The Simpsons and stuff like that. Like he's an absolute joker. He's a menace. That's what they are like. <laughs> and more forgivable if it was just some guy who you could identify who's grinding out content and trying to beat the algorithm, but it doesn't seem like that. What it seems to be is copy and paste text read by robots over stolen footage on a massive scale. To show you what I mean, I'm going to play just a random video that I chose from one of these channels. I'm stealing behind me Kyle's video right they now. Claim me, but which I'm absolutely positive they're going to try to do after this video. Now tell me that this isn't a robot reading some sort of press release. It is not again. The James Webb Space Telescope keeps finding galaxies that shouldn't exist. Come on. And listen to this example of a robot clearly trying to be like the most- Annoyingly, that point, though, isn't wrong. <laughs> Successful science channel with voiceover, Kurz Gazak. There are many, many channels that try to do the Kurz in a nutshell robot video. The human brain is one of the smartest on the planet, but there are some things we just can't wrap our minds around. And when you listen to it, come on, that's not Kurz Gazak's voice. That's fine, man. I, I look, I don't have a problem with that one. The human brain is one of the smartest on the planet, but there are some things. The human can't... brain is one of the smartest on the planet. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting choice of words. And... Point. And when you listen to it, it's almost nonsensical. That video goes on. Yeah, that doesn't way. make a lot of sense. And I'm describe what's being shown on screen. The human brain is one of the smartest on the planet. Timeline of Shakespeare to bookstores, but there are some things we just can't wrap our minds around. CGI International Space Station. One of those is a paradox. Timeline from your parents to your grandparents. We've evolved to think that reality is a certain way, but there are paradoxes out there that suggest that reality, CGI alien invasion for some reason, doesn't work the way we think it does. This is auditory visual gumbo. It's words and phrases and images that technically go together just to. Kind of sounds like Jordan Peterson talking. Not enough kidding. to be palatable, but it's. Oh, it's I'm sorry. I like Jordan. All right. You know. If I'm right, why are these Word channels The simplest answer to me is a shotgun method content bad. generation taking advantage of how YouTube works by more or less automating a process where you can pump out a clickbait video every few hours. You are putting out so much content across so many different channels, some with millions of subscribers, for so cheap with the least effort that these creators are- But at the same time, science has got to fight back against the rest of the bullshit out there, right? Who are constantly mass producing misinformation, uh, conspiracy theories, right? So science has got to push back and it's got to fight the good fight. And I think the only way to do that is to produce more content you know, good content sure but like what is good content you know this is also subjective um you know people will argue what i'm making is horseshit content but it's actually content i i'm making it because i enjoy this style of content all right i understand it's not everyone's cup of tea people want the fucking everything to look you know nice and like a netflix show but like, I don't want to make a Netflix show. I want to sit in my room and talk shit. Anyway, let's to make let's some amount of money off of autoplay and trickbait alone, even if they receive a copyright strike. You see, money is only placed in escrow on YouTube after a claim is made. So if, for example, National Geographic never makes a claim on their footage or even just waits a few hours after a video is published to file a claim, the spammers still get money. It might be a small amount of money, but that's why there are so many channels making videos so often. It eventually adds up. The recent explosion in and access to artificial intelligence only adds evidence to my hypothesis. Search for text-to-speech programs on YouTube, and you'll find a similarly thriving ecosystem of channels teaching you how to exploit the system and make money off of almost a fully automated process. No personal creativity needed. The text is written by ChatGPT. The visuals are generated by systems like Midjourney. Reading the script is any number of increasingly human-like TTS AIs, and almost all of these tools are free, making the barrier to entry and therefore the barrier to spamming the platform negligible. Some of these channels outright acknowledge this and even give themselves challenges to create successful sciencey channels that pull facts, titles, and descriptions from ChatGPT in as little time and effort as possible. That I sucks. bet my hair that these tools are behind the epidemic of science spam on YouTube. I mean, just look at how cynical some of these are. Make a bunch of money by just using AI and copy and paste top 10 lists. I said this was going to be a huge problem just a few weeks ago, and it's becoming one even faster than I thought. 
One of the biggest offenders is Riddle, a channel that I've actually seen before Fuck and thought was channel. legit, but really is no better. Same topics, no. same nonsense, thumbnails, same stuff. It's clear that this channel was, I mean, it depends on your bullshit detector, right? I've seen so many videos by these people that just are such misinformation. Uh, wait a minute. It's, but sometimes it's okay. History's worst software errors. That is my big video? Ugh. I like when an author <laughs> add the outlaw called channels like these. Quote, the grown-up version of the spooky, surreal children's videos created to manipulate YouTube's algorithm system. And it works. Watch what happens when I type James Webb Space Telescope into the search bar here. Notice anything? Oh the exact same offending channels that we've been going through. <sighs> Isn't that so sad that, you know, you type in James Webb Space Telescope and the things that pop up is just all bullshit. Apart from maybe 60 minutes here, but Future Space, that top one was bullshit. BBC Earth Lab. This one looks okay. Um, this one is bullshit. You know, like three out of five. That sucks. Indexing man. higher. In Come the on, YouTube. Be minutes, better than BBC, that. Or the actual James Webb Space. This is why we can't have nice things. Telescope. This is a real growing problem. And no, that's not God. But how? It's not so growing. Know. This has been around for a while. Okay. I think he's just finally making a video about it. But I've seen this shit for a good year or maybe two years now. I'd be saying, what if I like my science videos written and read by robots? Over don't just recommend this shit. I mean, uh, don't hit just don't recommend. You know what you got to do? You got to hit report. You can go here and you can do report and you can click misinformation. Report these mother footage. Well, first of all, I'd say fun voice. Keep going. With it. Second of all, I don't think these channels and the videos they're in are actually the equivalent of just trash TV or tablets. I think these channels are actively harmful. They miss and disinform the they public. And I care about that kind of thing. These are cash grabs. And worse than that, they are cash grabs that siphon your attention away from better things. They are trapdoors of attention to pits of nonsense. Again, I can't prove this is one person or okay. a small group of people. They're making all these videos and channels, even though it seems like that. But what I know for sure is that as an educator on YouTube, and YouTube apparently cares about us, I am offended by this stuff. And I don't want to see it. So what can I do? I make a video like this telling you about it, and I report their butts to the YouTube police. If you want to report these channels, like I did, here's what you do. You log into your YouTube account and then click on the About there we section. Go. You then click on this little flag down here and you report. You can actually do it on every video. You click here, Report. Okay, it's the same the thing. For spams and scams. Next, you can select. There's also a misinfamation option. Any examples of the offending videos. Same topic, same title, same thumbnail, same lack of any real content. Oh, bad wow. News, you can news, just indeed, do the whole news, video. Indeed, oh, wow. News, okay, indeed, this is bad better. News, indeed. Bad news. Indeed. What just happened? You're getting reported. It has an additional <laughs> comment box if you want to add anything. These, these videos are just in that's not even it like you should just straight up say misinformation and if you want to go further like add a source or two to directly counter it that'll help because the people you know Submit. behind Look, the humans these channels there are... probably don't know enough either right making a video like this will make a dent in this vibrant diseducational community but the least we can do is dislike unsubscribe and make sure to unclick that bell until next time now exiting the facility Thank you so much to the veterinary staff here at the facility for the- Thank you, Kyle, for making this video. It's really important. I'm glad someone who has a real following is getting onto this, right? I don't have a real following. I really appreciate all you guys here with me right now. I, I love you guys, but let's be honest. I am a nobody on this platform. I had some lucky videos back in the early days. Um, but anyway.